Hi, I'm going to talk about God. Now, when some people want to break down God, they want to go into some school of thought. They want to go to some system. They want to go to history. They want to talk about other people talking about God. And um, some people will speak about God based on their experiences. But I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to talk about God the way that I experience him as a human being watching other human beings experience God. So as I watch my fellow human beings wrestle with the issue of God, one of the questions that comes up for me personally is, why are these people looking for God? Other questions come up for me like, where are they looking for God? What, what does God mean to them? Some people are looking for God because they're looking for someone to take out their frustration on. I mean, they're not enjoying their lives and they hear that God is to blame for life itself. <laughs> blame. And they're looking to understand the person that they mean to uh, punish, meaning God. It's interesting that some, even some atheists are intensely looking for God for the, for the purpose of uh, punishing him. You know, popping a cap in his behind if they could, you know. Some people are looking for satisfaction, happiness, joy. And they're expecting that God is the source of those things. So they want to acquaint themselves with him or her. But me, as a kid, I wasn't too interested in people. I was quiet, didn't talk too much the first three or so years of my life. I was quite fascinated by the way that things work. Personally, if I don't see it, you know, if I don't see it, it's not relevant to me. So I'm not interested in what historians say about God. I am interested in my own experiences. And based on my experiences, I can see that other people are looking for the same things that I'm looking for. And if we're all made in the image of God, it could be that we were made to look for those things. And it could be that that's a part of our design. And all the time that I've been clinging to, looking for God, a God, a God to save me from the trouble, uh, the obvious troubles of this world, um, I can say this. Understanding the path to God is very simple. The path to God is the path to happiness. God would be the source of happiness. And happiness is simply put, um, the satisfaction of that which we desire. We do not make ourselves to desire the things that we desire. The desires that we have are a function of our making. And we did not make ourselves. So understanding God is also the quest to harmonize ourselves with our, our purpose and harmonize ourselves with our design. It also means that the search for God is fundamentally a quest to maximize our experience as human beings. Without seeing it this way, see seeking for a God that has nothing to do with our everyday experience is like looking for the latest gimmick or the latest fad. You know, something that is apart from us that we want to dress ourselves in. Sort of like going to the change room at the um, department store and just putting on something that we think will make us happy. And if you search for God in that way, I don't think you're ever gonna find God. And for most people, their, their search for God is doomed at the outset because they just don't pay attention to themselves, not one bit. And that in itself is a part of the problem. The problem being human beings completely disconnected from a sense of their own purpose and the ability to maximize their own life. So what I'm about to say to you, I have no idea how it's going to make you feel. Based on my experience and the experience of people that I love and care about, I would say that God is the guy who saves us. Simply put, God is whoever will save us from trouble. That's God. When a baby cries, this resonates with the search for God. Babies, before they can even make out who their mother, what their mother's face looks like, they're crying for salvation. They're crying for someone. From their perspective, they're crying for God. Now, the vessel of God would be their mother, especially their mother's breast, especially when they're hungry. So we are like babies. If you agree with most people's assessment that this world is full of trouble and pain and suffering, then you know this cry. It's the inner cry, wondering if a better world is possible. When we wonder if a better world is possible, that is a call to God. Talk to you later. If you like this discussion, subscribe, like, share. Thank you.